Aries. Hi Aries. Welcome to my channel Chronicles of a Hoodoo Spiritualist. I am Renee Michelle and I want to welcome all the new subscribers. Welcome to the family. We're happy to have you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I want to thanks for the likes, the shares, and the comments. I'm sorry that I haven't been getting in contact with you guys on the comments. I'm going to try and catch up. I'm just been a little tired, a little weary. Um, fighting evil. <laughs> And then all the readings, I just got a little bit overwhelmed, a little bit overexhausted. So I just need to take a little break. I took the last couple of days off. Eh, Aries, what can I tell you? Spiritual awareness. Wow. The one this week, I just, well, I'm trying to upload now. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Is uh, the fear of happiness. Also, um... The bath. Listen, I'm giving you guys till Friday. You gotta take this bath. If you're gonna do three nights, you gotta do three nights in a row. All three nights in a row. If not, just do one. But we're trying to get it in. The new moon is tomorrow with the eclipse. Trying to get it in by then. If you haven't started by then, try to do it before the end of the week is out. It's Friday is the deadline, people. The cancer, everything is up. Everything is there. Go to my blog at hoodoospiritualist.tumblr.com to get the instructions and the ingredients. Also, um, if you want a reading with me, shoot, contact me. I'll give you a reading, my dear. It is reneemichelle1975 at gmail.com. Just email me there. I'll let you know my rates and everything like that. Okay, Aries, so this is your weekly reading. For March the 6th through March the 12th, The underlining of the reading this week for Aries. Three of Swords. Heartbroken. Sorrow. Sadness. That's the underlining of this week. Coming into this week, I have the Five of Swords and the, 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 the Death card. So it's fighting a battle that you can't win. Ended up scarred and wounded, right? And starting anew. Right? Because whatever this situation ended, it ended. They're walking away, and here you are. Starting over. Right? Coming into this week, we have the Page of Cups. Right? Because the Page of Cups is wounded. Right? But she's always ready to love again. Right? And there she is manifesting her what she wants in a new mate. Right? 
because even though it was bad and even though it was over, she she's, she's in the search for balance, right? That's the justice card, and also it was adjudicated. It was it was it was supposed to end, right? So she's coming in this week feeling like, okay, I'm healing, but I'm ready to love again, and and I feel like a balance. You're gonna regain a sense of balance because you're not in a, a bad situation anymore. By the middle of the week, right? You're kind of up in the air, right? This is self-reflection time. This is brought on by the universe to take time to reflect on self and what, what you, attributes that you may be lacking or thereof. And this is going to make you more of a grounded, more of the areas that you are completing your line of um, education as far as learning how to balance that industry, how to tame that tight, that lion and, and, and be successful and be at peace. So this 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 hangman is about you taking the time out to reflect on self to make yourself a better you, right? And that's why it's aligned with the King of Wands. Towards the end of the week, another Tower card, right? So if you wasn't, be, you're finishing up something here, because it's the Tower cards and the Eight of of Cups, meaning this is something that you work long and hard, put a lot of love and energy. And it shows something when you see the back of the person. That means you are gone, 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 right? So you're walking away from this this, this, this long-term bad relationship. And here's the tower card. It's, the tower card is always good. Death card is always good, in my opinion. Because these, this is a quick ending. So I do, don't feel that it's the same quick ending. The, 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 the death card coming into this week is more about you knowing that it was going to end, but it was time. This tower card in the, at the end of the the week is telling me that there's something that's going to come up and you're going to say, forget it, and you're going to wash your hands and walk away. So here's the outcome of the week. Instead of one card, I feel that they, they gave me three cards here, right? And it's increasing your mind span. It's making your mind go out further than it has before. New educational possibilities. And this here is the Six of Swords. I mean, Six of Cups. Everything but the cup card that's in front of me. It's the Six of Coins. Wow, some of y'all got some t Six of Cups issues and some Six of Swords issues. But six of Swords is moving away. And Six of Cups is... Um, six of Swords is moving away to something better or moving or traveling. And Six of Cups is... Um, hot diggity dog. But anyway... I don't know why I can't, I can't think of it. I'm sorry, Aries. <laughs> but Six of Cups is, um, Five of Cups is, uh, six, of, six of Cups isn't bad, though. I don't know why I can't think of it right now, but y'all gonna tell me. I know you will, right? Because the, the education is gonna lead to finances, which is giving you, having you start over, right? as your new and true self and beginning again and, and reevaluating yourself and learning more about you. So the Six of Cups for some reason is leaving me and that means they want me to get this card. Let me see where this card is at. Six of Cups, Six of Cups, Six of Cups. Six of cups. And then as soon as I saw it, I knew what it was. <laughs> about leaving the past behind, right? It's about moving forward, right? It's also about looking on the past and roll colored glasses. But don't look back on that, right? Because if you put the Six of Cups in, in over the Six of Pentacles, you have here a situation where the education part is being left behind, but I don't feel that that's the case. 
you know what? That might actually be it, right? Moving on to something better. So whatever you were, your education was, or whatever you ever you was thought you were planning as far as expanding your education, the span, you know, expand your finances. You instead you're gonna go towards your new passion, right? Whatever this new passion, the desire that drives you to do what you really want to do in life, that's where you're gonna head towards. I, I think they picked the wrong card. I don't even think it's supposed to be a six of pentacles at all. I feel like this education is gonna to lead to your passion, right? leaving the past behind right so this is look, reflecting on the past and and the education is in the past and moving forward to your passion all right aries till next time stay blessed and i love you